Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jazz and welcome back to another video with me. Today's video is going to be in collaboration with Russell Athletics. They sent me over a couple of pieces that they want me to customize and I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how I transformed one of their sweatshirts into a wearable piece of art. Now if y'all know, if y'all a true follower subscriber of mine, you guys know that I go into everything pretty much blindsided when it comes to customizing and creating a piece of clothing into something that's a little bit more my taste so i figured what better way than to create a sweatshirt that says trust the process and just live in our truth just trust the process and i mean this applies to life too you gotta trust the process you gotta trust the creative juices so if you guys are interested want to see how i did it you know what to do definitely keep on watching <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It is currently 11.38 and as you guys heard in the intro, I'm going to be transferring some Russell Athletic pieces or a piece into a wearable art piece. I'm just going to show you guys really quickly how I amped it up, which I'm going to try it on for you guys so you guys can see. One of them I do already have on, but I want y'all to see the full effect because I think this is the one that I might customize, but I don't know yet. Okay, so this is the first piece. Um, hopefully you guys can see me okay. I'm just trying to pull my shirt down from underneath. But the first piece that I got is a sweatsuit. I don't think it was intended to be like a matching set, but I've always wanted like a matching set, so I think this would be really cute to do a creative concept on, and I'm excited. I think this one would be really cute too. It's in my color zone, y'all know I love yellow. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I, I know what I'm gonna do, but I don't know how it's really gonna come out. I really don't have like a concrete vision. And then I also got this green one, because if I wanted to put like manifesting moolah, I need the color to be green. Um, I think that would be a cute concept too, manifesting, and manifesting is essentially a part of trusting the process. These are also really, really soft and warm. Me just wearing the one I wore out earlier to go run and get a coffee had me nice and cozy while it's cold outside in these Atlanta streets. So I really think these are some dope ass sweatshirts. They come in a lot of other colors, so y'all definitely gotta check them out. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe. It's a vibe, you know that's our song. It's a vibe all the time. It's a, all right, she don't wanna show off for y'all. But let's get into the fun stuff and let's figure out which one we wanna create with and let's do it. Okay, so I'm really inspired by someone's custom that I'm currently working on. I'm really inspired by the color story. So you guys already guessed which sweatshirt I decided to go with. And that is this sweatshirt. Now, I did do a little bit of grunt work on this sweatshirt, but it's nothing major. I just did a little bit of some spray paint on it, and I really did that just because I wanted to add some depth underneath it because we are going to spray paint this sweatshirt out. This is gonna be something that's really easy for you to duplicate and follow along with, and now we're just gonna pick out our colors. <laughs> we have the Magic Toolbox. Come take a step closer. So I keep all of my paints inside of my suitcase. I do have some paints that I keep behind me, if you guys can see here. These ones are my larger ones. I'm thinking that we can do a little bit of some mustard in here. I think that we can do a little bit of tan. These ones are pretty light, so this is probably gonna be, like they're kind of empty if you can hear it, but it'll just be a little pizzazz. So we're gonna do tan mustard, this sand green color, which I think will be really cute to play off of the forest green, brown, and I'm thinking some champagne color. This color is like a little bit gold and Oh, we have an avocado color. So we have a color that matches pretty much the same color as the sweatshirt. And then you can't go wrong. Oh, I thought this was black, but this is navy blue, but this might be a vibe. Or should we do burgundy? I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna start off with the colors that we have. made 
this voluntarily my like splatter paint tool this is really just a paint brush that has over the years became really clunky and thick because I never washed it but in turn it's also turned into the perfect splatter paint tool I also want to mention that I'm going to be using this ready to pour white paint as well this paint you can get from your local Hobby Lobby or Michaels, but this paint is really good to do quick splatter paint because it's very liquidy and drippity. It just comes out relatively easy. We're gonna add that in there too. looking like I absolutely love this and I think I'm gonna just do the front so we're gonna leave this outside to try after doing custom so many times you start to pick up on little things and I've always realized like whenever I did any type of paint work outside and it's warm something about the heat just makes the process a little bit quicker many unbearable hours later it's currently nighttime now I'm thinking Oh, it's still wet. But we're gonna just have to let her be for tonight and we're gonna come back and visit her tomorrow morning. So, good night, you. See you in the morning. The avocado green parts are still wet for some reason. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this paper towel. I'm going to just wipe it away at this point. I don't really care if it looks messy because this is art. I'm gonna just sit here and wipe off all of these parts that are taking 5,000 years to dry. And then we are gonna get ready to write out our phrases. Gotta be something different. Now the way I'm about to go about this is going to be kind of scary. I'm going to be taking this paint that we used to create that drip effect. And I'm going to just kind of spell the word out first like this. And then what I'm thinking, I'm going to take a brush and like spread it out if I can. Because I don't want this to look perfect. I want this to kind of look rustic. And then I'm just going to do it one more time as another coat. But this time I'm probably going to just let a little bit more paint come out. And wherever I put like a little bit too much paint, we'll just reuse it on this area. We're going to put Trust B. the word process towards this bottom half now we're gonna get to the fun stuff where we're gonna take this neon yellow color this sunset yellow color in this Jamaican Joy color, and we're going to paint on top of the white.
thank you again to Russell Athletics for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys check out Russell Athletics website and snag you a sweatshirt that I'm hoping you're inspired to create after watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out Russell Athletics on their Instagram page and be sure to check me out on my Instagram page at Eclipse Jr. Until next time, I had a lot of fun creating this sweatshirt and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.